Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. I know it's been a while since I've been on here um, filming, but I'm back and I promise um, I'm going to make it a point to be able to film two videos a week and have them posted for you guys. I've been lacking and slacking on my end over here. It feels like I went on winter vacation for, to see family and everything for the holidays and I just like totally just lost motivation and ambition to get on here and film for you guys. So I'm super excited to be back. Um, this look is kind of a, a remake. Um, I'm using, of course, all Limelight by Alcone products. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the video and stay tuned if you guys wanna see how to get this look. Kids are so bad around here. They're so bad. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Feeling is Neutral palette and I'm just going to take a neutral, or is it brown? So it's really close to my natural color. This is going to be our transition shade. So I'm gonna start with a uh, Morphe M441 brush. It's just a larger fluffy brush. I'm gonna try and stay in focus here because I'm terrible with that but I want to keep this right in the crease and more towards the outside. And more towards the outside. And then once most of my product is distributed on the outside, I'll bring it in a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit darker of a brown. It's like a neutral, warm, medium brown. And I'm going to take that on the same brush that we just had. And I'm going to put it right on top of where we just put that other color. I'm going to take a little bit smaller of a brush. I'm going to take my M433. Put some more of that product on there. I really pack that on that outer corner. Fade it in. I just see my broken nail. <laughs> it just happened yesterday. I'm so upset. Okay, so after that, I am going to take, okay, so after that, I'm gonna take this flat brush. This is the M432 by Morphe, and I'm just gonna take that dark neutral brown. I'm gonna take that dark neutral brown, and I'm gonna pack it right on that lash line. and bringing it all the way in, but trying to keep it as tight as possible to the lash line whenever I do bring it in. I have contacts and they're like moving all around. blend it. There's like barely any product left in the brush now. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm just going to blend it upwards. Okay, and I feel like a complete idiot because I completely forgot to film this part. So basically I just took that crystal shade all the way at the bottom and put that on my lid and then took that dark brown. You guys saw me blending on my uh, liner area. I just blended that all the way up into the outer lid. I did not go past the middle of my crease. Okay, lashes are on. They feel... Pretty good. I love 
how voluminous they are. Okay, for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna take that same flat brush. This is the M432 brush with that dark brown that I've been using. And I'm just gonna run it along the outside of the eye. Okay, so then I'm just going to take a um, pencil brush. <laughs> this is the R41 by Morphe. I'm gonna take that medium brown that we used and I'm gonna run it underneath. Okay, then I'm gonna take some mascara on the bottom lash line. And I would be the one to get mascara on my contact. <laughs> so then for blush, I'm gonna be using this one. This is blush number nine, and I actually think I'm gonna mix it with blush number four with Limelight by Alcone, just to kind of give that peachy, pretty pink tone. I'm gonna take a little bit of Limelight's Perfect Bronzer and I'm gonna take that on an angled fluffy brush and point it upwards. Just give small little strokes and circular motions. Put a little bit on the forehead and just blend that out with a large fluffy brush. I am also going to take a little tiny blender brush with that same perfect bronzer and just lightly go and carve out my nose. Okay, and then for highlight, I'm gonna be using my favorite highlighter of all time. This is like a very natural, kind of like glow from within type of highlighter. It's not very sparkly, it's not very glittery. Um, it just has like a nice, really pretty sheen to it. This is the Hourglass Ambient um, Luminous Light Lighting Powder. I'm gonna take my highlighter brush. Actually, am I? Yeah, I'm gonna take my highlighter brush and I'm really just gonna kind of put it everywhere because I want just like a really pretty satin glow. Same thing, down the nose. Okay, here's my little one in the back. Okay, so for my lips, I'm gonna be lining it with the Enduring Lip Liner 04. Okay, and then for my lip color, I'm gonna be going in with this beautiful red that I just got in the mail. It's uh, called Cherry Pie, and it's the Limelight by Alcone's Enduring Lip Color. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, of course, don't forget to comment and like below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see my videos whenever I post them. Um, if you are interested in getting notifications on whenever I post a video, you can also click that little bell right next to the subscribe button. Um, other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.